died yet, and I don't want it. Oh, for God's sake, no, 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 no. Yeah, the platforming is starting to get more difficult now. Um, it's more precise. Uh, it's going to get a little bit more punishing as time goes on. Uh, save room dead ahead. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, enemies are starting to be a bit more punishing as well. Oh, cheeky, I didn't see you up there. Uh, death respawning on Metroid isn't so much as evil as... Is this real lava or fake lava? It's fake lava! Yay! Um, it, it just takes you to the last save point you were at. Which actually, knowing that that's fake lava and there's a save point right here, I'm just going to save now. But when you die, you literally respawn at your last save point at exactly the state you were. So if you saved at a save point with barely any health, you've then still got to try and farm health to get back. So yeah, it can be... It can be evil if you haven't prepared yourself. What's in here? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Behave, leave me alone. Wicked, what have we got? Suit upgrade, wave beam! Nice! The wave beam allows my beam to pass through things now. It also gives me a little bit of a spread. So, um, bigger monsters, and sorry, small monsters it's hard to hit, and I can shoot at things through walls. Um, so like these guys, I don't have to blow the wall before shooting them. So it makes dealing with them that little bit easier. But again, I don't believe the wave beam is a necessary um, item, which is interesting. Save the game. So it's a nice little hidden away one, which... Speed dash. Oh, wave beam, I think it must be necessary because there's no way to kill that without it. Um, but I think in the original NES Metroid, it is... Um... Oh, bloody hell, I hate this thing. Get back. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Right into your little hidey hole. Now, come get me. So yeah, with that you have to force it back and then use the morph bombs, to, the morph balls, bombs to uh, get it. Uh, energy tank. There we go. Knew there was one around here somewhere. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah, and then there's this, isn't there? So I need to speed dash. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Boom. Another missile tank. Save room. I think we're well on our way to Ridley. Oh yeah, we are. Bearing in mind everything after Mother Brain in this game is um, technically new content that wasn't in the original Metroid. Um, they kind of did it as, as I said that's the element of classes of what would be a director's cut. Um, Oh yeah, 
got to wait for this thing to circle around, haven't I? Uh, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. There you go. Down from the ceiling you go. Allowing me to get further in. Uh -uh. More story mode cutscenes. Again, all these cutscenes are nice for the Game Boy version. This is why I think the Game Boy Advance version is the definitive version. Because you get all these cool little cutscenes, um, which the original NES version doesn't give you. Um, there is a really nice little bonus, actually. If you have this game and you use the Game Boy Advance cable to link it into the GameCube of Metroid Prime, it gives you the original NES version. It unlocks it for you. So you can still play the original NES version. Um, which is really cool, in my opinion. Um, okay, not yet. There is a way of getting to this guy, but I am, again, ahead of myself. Ha -ba -ba. Bugs. Ah! That literally? Is, that, is it something in the floor here? Start forgetting where I have to go. So that I need to shoot down to get. super missiles to progress? Do I have to get them through that way? I sure as God hope not, because that's going to be really annoying. Is there another way of getting the super missiles? I know I can go through that tunnel, but... Don't make me have to go. Oh, right up the top. What's there? Okay, maybe that's where they are. That room. Oh no, he's moved. Cool, I can go this way. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I remember this now, yep. Yeah. There are the super missiles. Big bug! I cannot for you! Yeah. 
Big boat, go boom! Samus around, pest control. More appropriate when uh, Metroid start coming along. Nothing secret hidden down here. Thank you very much, kid. That uh, was nicely handled, even if I do say so myself. Uh, that gets me out of there. Oh, it's missiles, isn't it? Right. Before we continue, let's actually just go save. So, yeah, every super missile upgrade I find gives me only two additional super missiles. So, uh... I have to use them a bit more sparingly than I would the, uh... Um the regular missiles. But yeah, it's actually possible for me to get those earlier if I did that thing with the morph ball I was trying to do, rather than having to wait all till then. Um, so they can be used to open green doors. Uh, now, I know that the floor falls away here, so... Oh, I tried to be smart, and I messed it up. Come on. Full of those. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, wave beam now allowing me to take out those guys through the wall. Uh, nice little energy tank increase. Uh, Before I break that wall, let's destroy a couple of those. One still left frozen. Bum, ba, bum. Hey. Straight on, save room. Yes, let's take advantage of that. Get in an energy tank, because I'll need it for Ridley. Ridley's a pain in the ass. Missile tanks. Gotta love them. Let's use this to farm for supplies before progressing. Because I'm going to need these. Missiles, please. I love how Metroid does sporadically just put points like this into car. You're gonna need supplies soon. Quick, farm small enemies for them. Can't remember how many I can hold, so it's yeah, that seems to be max missiles. 135. Oh, and a map room. 135 regular missiles. Uh two super missiles. <laughs> 